there have been numerous questions asked on what are the appropriate laboratory tests and when should it be done for COVID-19. This is a very simplified three minutes video presentation that can be understood easily by everyone. Today, there are two main tests available to detect the COVID-19 virus. One is the PCR and one is the rapid test antibody. I'm going to give you a simple example and a simple graph to understand the whole lab process. For example, you have been exposed to the virus on March the 13th. So, the virus invades your body and multiplies. 1, 1,000, 1 million and so on. So, the number of virus increases every second. The PCR test is to detect the virus. For this test, saliva or phlegm is taken with a cotton bud from your throat or nose. If the virus multiplies very fast and the volume or number of virus is big, sometimes even on the second day itself, you can detect the PCR. Once it's detected early, you can be treated early and your life can be saved. If the virus are very few in number, it can take up to four to eight days to detect. So if you have been exposed and you have no symptoms, that is asymptomatic, and you want to do a PCR test, somewhere around the seven day after exposure will be an appropriate time. Even if this result is negative, please refer to your doctor for further tests if needed later, as no test can give you 100% accuracy. Now I will explain what is IgM and IgG. The first line of defense to kill COVID-19 is the IgM antibody, followed by the IgG antibody. A rapid test detects IgM and IgG. It takes sometimes almost one to two weeks to detect IgM and IgG in your blood. This is late and this is not suitable for screening. For those who have recovered from COVID-19, this test is useful as it will confirm that you have antibodies and you will not get COVID-19 again. In conclusion, you are being screened by a lab or hospital. Make sure it is the PCR test and not the antibody rapid test. This is Dr. Raj, your GP, signing off. Please note, this is only a guide at this point of time and with rapid advance in lab technology, please refer to your health ministry's guidelines for the latest information. Thank you.